Okay, hey YouTube, my name is Carl DiDonato, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to your Android to your Android phone. Uh, it's a very, very easy process. The only thing is you may need a rooted device. The only reason why I'm not completely sure is because my device was already rooted whenever I tried this. So if you do need, a, you, you, if you do need to root your device, just go ahead and comment or message me, and I'll go ahead and help you do that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Play Store, and you're going to want to look for this application. And it is called Blues IME. It's that application right there. Okay, and what you're going to do after after you do that is you're going to go ahead and select that application. You're going to want to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to Select IME. Basically what the IME is is your keyboard. So you're going to go to Setup Input Methods because you are not going to have that Blues IME checkmarked as I do. So you're going to need to checkmark, checkmark that Blues IME. Okay, so now go ahead and go back to that Blues IME application. Okay. Okay, and after you've done that, uh, the Blues IME keyboard will be selectable. So go ahead and select that. Let's see, here, the top part of my phone doesn't work. So go ahead and select that. Oops. Okay. All right, so after you've selected that, let me just go ahead and double check. Yep. Okay. Yeah, after you've selected that, you go ahead and you take your PS4 controller. Um, it should be searching for the device now. Go ahead and hit share and the PS button at the same time. Your device will start blinking. Okay. So after it starts blinking, it should in just a moment here connect. Okay, it has connected. Now what you're going to want to do, this next part, basically what this is, is it's a, uh, <clears throat> it basically chooses what keyboard you use with your phone. So I know that's weird how it connects the controller to your device. Just ignore it. Um, let's see here. So go ahead and basically, like I said, this is a keyboard. So whenever you try and type anything into your phone after this, it's not going to pull up anything because it's looking for the keyboard and the keyboard you have selected is Blues IME, which is just this. So obviously that's not going to help you type. You're going to need to go ahead and switch back to English or I use English US keyboard, Google keyboard, but technically the one for my phone would be LG keyboard. So it'd be whatever your phone's keyboard is. So I go ahead and select the Google driver. You're going to notice that the controller shuts off as soon as I switch to that other driver. But you're going to need to switch to that other, I'm sorry about the driver comment. Uh, you're going to need to switch to, to that other keyboard in order, for, in order for your keyboard to work. So basically it does say Bluetooth device is disconnected. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on because that most likely did just shut off the Bluetooth functionality. So I did just go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, and now basically your your Android device is now a PS4 or basically something that connect can connect to your controller. Uh, basically, it'll be connectable just by pressing the PS button from here on out. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, and as you can see, it, it can control your um, basically applications and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't have the full functionality of a PS4 controller yet though because <clears throat> basically, like I said, it's treating this as a keyboard and not as a controller. So what you're going to need to do is, I mean, you can still use it. Um, basically, X is circle and square is and square is X. So it's just a little bit strange. Uh, but the main reasons for using this would be for games, uh, and I use emulators. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys and a working emulator, and this is a PS1 emulator. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that it does work with the PS4 controller. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and... As you can see, oops, okay, as you can see, he is moving with my controller there. Okay, I don't think this one's doing anything. Let's see here. Just go ahead and find something here. Okay, but as you guys can see, it is clearly working and uh, pretty great, honestly. And actually, here's one more thing, just really quick. Um, what I would do if I were you, and I was planning on using one of these emulators in use with the controller, is you would just go to, sorry. Let's see here. Player one. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and 
sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and go to Preferences. This is just for the PS1 emulator, but they're all basically the same. And you're going to go ahead and select, let's see, I should have some sort of controller options. Number of players goes up to four. You're going to go and select player one. Uh, all that's correct. You're going to go ahead and map the buttons. Basically, you're going to select the up D-pad, and then whenever you do that, you'll go ahead and press up D-pad, and basically you're just matching all the buttons to their corresponding to their corresponding buttons. So all the selections to their corresponding buttons. Okay, so that's how to do it. If you have any questions or any comments, just go ahead and comment or message me, whatever you want to do. And if you need further help, also. Okay. All right, thank you.